weekend break. Hey, Marcella. Hey, we are at the Rap City Theater um, in Rogers Park, and we're talking about magic all day. Like, not just your typical 30 second tricks. We're talking about a whole show of magic and like the philosophy behind it or the medicine behind it or things like that. So it's a big narrative, kind of very cool show, gives you a lot of material. Ross Johnson is a mind reader. Yes. Okay, so, so I know, <laughs> spooky, which is, yes. which is good because I didn't have to, so what I did was I looked on, um, explain the process. So I oh, looked on. You took some random words out of a book, right. you, you, whatever they were, and I asked you ahead of time to make a sentence out of them. You haven't written them down or nope. anything like nope. that? No, I haven't spoken okay. a word. Okay. Ooh. I just have to kind of figure out okay. where your mind is at. But you did create a sentence. I'm a former teacher. I yes. taught for 20 years in, in it, Chicago. The, and The sentence uh, will make no sense. Okay. Okay, so. When what I do determined I, do? I could read my students' minds, I quit teaching. Uh, <laughs> Imagine you're in a schoolroom from your youth, fourth, fifth, sixth grade, you walk up to the blackboard and you start to write in longhand cursive writing, which they don't teach anymore. Mm -hmm. uh, but when you come to the words that you were thinking over, the words that uh, you chose randomly, print them in large block letters. Okay. Did you do it? I did. I think I, I got the impression of a place, a specific place. And then in, in your mind, your hand comes up and points with your finger. <gasps> no! <laughs> That's what it is, with your finger to this place that spells C H I N A. No. It is China, is that right? Yes. And that's what we call mind reading. Do you know what the sentence was? No. China lost its finger. There you go. <laughs> So that's so cool, and those are the kind of things you do that's when what you I come do. here. And it's yeah. an interactive thing, bringing people up and uh, telling them what they're thinking. And that's the only thing I claim. I'm not a psychic, uh, right. per se. Right. I don't think anyone can be, have supernatural powers. But if I put someone in kind of a, a mental box okay. with some restrictions, uh, I can tell them what they're thinking. That is so cool, because I, I wanted to have a sentence set because I, I didn't want you to just think about what, it, you know, like to figure out what I was thinking of and I was gonna be thinking of something like really <laughs> raunchy or oh, 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 we don't want to do like that. that. We're very tasteful here at the <laughs> Rhapsody <laughs> Theater. All right, thank you a pleasure so much, to be Ross. With you. Thank nice you to be so with much. you too. Thanks for coming out early. Okay, so here we are, Rhapsody Theater in Rogers Park, world-class magicians right in your backyard. So come check it out um, if you can.